If you're looking for a really good reinforced stitch, I'm gonna show you a favorite of mine, which is stitch number six, and a zigzag version of it, which is six, stitch number 17. So 17 is a zigzag, number six is a straight stitch. Start by touching the arrow that points to the right until you find stitch number six on the screen. Stitch number six, come down and touch the button right below it. Then it will tell you what foot to be that you're using, and if you want, what the stitch length and needle position is. So right now it's just center needle position, but if you wanna move it to the left or to the right. Now, sometimes when people come in our store, they look for a thick thread. I wanna sew with thick thread. I need heavy duty thread. Well, a lot of times people are asking for top stitch thread, but if they only knew their machine has a triple straight stitch, you can use any thread in your collection. So if you want a white, triple thick looking stitch, you just put white on. If you want hot pink, you probably have some hot pink thread. It's super easy. Now watch what it's actually gonna do. Now I've actually folded this fabric on the diagonal so I can show you an extra benefit of this stitch. So what it's doing is it's doing two stitches forward, one stitch back. It goes back and forth in the exact same hole and it works awesome. So number one, it's gonna look three times as thick as just a single bit of thread. Touch the scissors when you're done. Lift the foot up and look how rich that looks. Now I did it on the diagonal because I, I wanted to show that it's actually a stretch stitch. It actually will give and not break. If that was a straight stitch and I pulled on it, it would have popped and broken the threads in between here. So, and look how heavy it is. It's really pretty with variegated thread, by the way. It could add as a little extra bonus, but if you've ever stitched something three times, and it kind of looks homemade, doesn't it? But if you pick your stitch number six, the triple straight stitch, and stitch it, number one, it goes right where you ask it to, back and forth in the same hole. It looks like you used thicker thread, but you didn't have to put a special needle on, which you would have if you had thicker thread. And I mentioned that there was actually another stitch, stitch number 17. So just go ahead and bring up the row of stitches by touching the arrow to the right. And here we go, stitch number 17. That's the one we want, touch the button below it. It's all set up. I love this machine because you can just pick the stitch and sew. And then you can go back and alter the width, the length, if it might need to be a little bigger or smaller to your liking. Okay, touch the scissor button, lift up the foot, beautiful stitch, uh, zigzag as you see it. And so if you're looking for that little extra um, thickness, little extra reinforcement, you have built-in stitches that you would have probably never guessed, and this is why we talk about stitching out all your stitches like in a stitch book. If you would have stitched all these stitches across the top of your machine, you would have known that you would be like, look at that stitch, that looks really nice. And you'll realize they look better stitched out than they do on the screen.